Hola, ¿qué tal? Hello, how are you? Greetings from Colombia. Hello everybody, my name is Nestor Melendez. I am a tour guide here in the city of Cartagena de Indias, in Colombia. I am also a journalist and a content creator. Today, you're gonna see the beautiful Boca Grande neighborhood and also Castillo Grande in Cartagena de Indias. And in my back, the emblematic hotel of this part of the city. This is called the Hotel Caribe. And it was, it is one of the most emblematic hotels of the city because it started all the boom over here at this beach called Boca Grande. Right here, it was where the modern city developed since the early 1930s in that time. This uh, hotel, this beautiful hotel was built in the 1940s. So welcome to Colombia. Greetings from Cartagena. And the taxi guy wants me to go with him. Okay, these are the guys that work over here in the beach in Boca Grande. Ellos están acá en la playa del Boni. What is your name, man? Jair. Jair, uh, since when do you work here? Desde hace cuándo trabajas acá, Jair? Hace 17 años. Okay, 17 years he has been working over here in, in the playa. This is the Playa Boni, no? Playa Boni. Playa Boni, okay. The, 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 they have certain characteristics, the Playa Boni, and the playa over there is Playa Hollywood, yes? Sí. Hollywood. Hollywood, that is the LGBT uh, beach part where uh, you can have fun over there and also a Playa Boni. So in the beach in Cartagena is one of the wonders of the city and it's one of the things why people come over here to Cartagena de Indias. Here we are at two beautiful beaches of Cartagena. The beach of Boca Grande and this is the beach of El Boni. And it's called Beach El Boni because it has a very good fish restaurant over there They're called El Boni. And El Boni was a boxer, una, a boxer champion and they gave him they gave him as a prize for his championships they gave him a piece of property over here a piece of land and finally he has one of the most successful typical restaurants of cartagena here it's called kiosco el boni and these are the people that works over here they're waiting for the tourists to come and you can see the situation in the beach right now here in Cartagena de Indias. We are at the Boca Grande beach. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you uh, all the all the beaches have uh, like uh, where you, you come into here into the beach and uh, while well, people is relaxing over here. I am not doing nothing over here. Huh. And you can see how the beach is uh, set it up. Everything is set up like for the COVID-19 and everything. So every people or every family or every party has its own space like this one. You see, it's a very comfortable space and they have designed like this corridors and avenues and people really is having fun over here in Cartagena de Indias and it's very well organized because of the COVID-19. So this is Playa Boni and Playa Hollywood over here at Boca Grande in Cartagena, the Indias. And this is greetings from Colombia. And I hope you're having fun. Look at this, Cevicheria al Titanic. That is good. That is one of the beautiful things of Colombia. The cocktail, the camarones, the shrimp cocktail. They sell it over here at the beach.
Okay, there's many people that is totally fan of Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Gabriel Garcia Marquez is a Colombian writer who won the Nobel Prize Award because of novels like 100 Years of Solitude and Love in the Times of the Cholera. Actually, Love in the Times of the Cholera was written over here in the city of Cartagena de Indias. And I'm gonna show you next in what building did Garcia Marquez wrote Love in the Times of the Cholera? Soon. In Colombia, that's their tours. Meanwhile, over here at Hollywood Beach, in Cartagena de Indias, Colombia, Nestor Tours. Okay, we're with Dante and Evans. Dante, how are you, man? Yeah, how you doing? Oh, very good. Where are you from? Uh, originally from New York. Uh, I live in Colombia part-time, six months out of the year. Oh, how come you live in Colombia? What? <laughs> Uh, there's a long story behind it, but uh, I fell in love with the country, Medellin, particularly see my short El Negro Paisa. El Negro Paisa, that means uh, Paisa are originals from Medellin or from Antioquia. But I'm the black version. Yeah, the black version, yeah. <laughs> but the people there embraced me, so that's why they started calling me that. Yeah, the linebacker my, version. And I have my clothing line. There. Yeah. And this is the running back version. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, I've been traveling to Colombia in general for uh, for about four years, and I just fell in love with the place. As a matter of fact, he was with me the first time I came to Colombia four years ago. And yeah, and what what, what was that that made you fall in love with Colombia, Evan? I mean, we're we're talking about we're talking about folks just being very very nice, pleasurable. I mean, the air, the climate. Talking about food, I mean, remote, you know, it just seems like it's, it's kind of an escape from what I know. And what I know ain't all that pretty. <laughs> and what is the most beautiful part of Colombia or everything is beautiful for you? Man, everything's beautiful. It's like uh, a friend of mine said, told me recently, if you have five children, you love all your kids the same. So I've been to Cali, I've been to Bogota, I've been to Medellin, I've been to Cartagena. And all of those cities have something different and something wow. wonderful to experience. So it's hard for me to say which one I like the best. Of course, I'm going to lean more towards Medellin because that's my home. But, uh, you know, every city that I've been to in Colombia is absolutely wonderful. But you know one thing, one thing, if he's from Medellin, you know, I'm going to win his team. He may be from Nacional, I'm from Millonarios. The best team in the world! <laughs> So I'm gonna win this guy. La verde, la verde. La verde, la verde. No verde, no, man. No. Okay. Me, I need a well, water. No. I need beach. I need sand. So that is my paradise. Okay, here, Evans La and Dante. He likes La Costa. Evans and Dante over here at Cartagena and at Colombia. Nesta Tours. You're great, guys. Welcome to Colombia, man. Peace and love. Peace. Hey, make it, make your way down here. You gotta. You only live once. Check it out. Okay, every time I get a subscriber, I, I feel like uh, I'm, I'm so happy you're subscribing to my channel. Yeah? Yes, yes. Look, there he has it. And, uh, Is this one here? Yeah, subscribe. That's wonderful. You got it, man. Wonderful. Thank you. Hey, uh, guys, check me out on Instagram, El Negro Paisa. You got it, El Negro Paisa. And Evans on Instagram? No. No Instagram for Evans, but they're here. Thank you very much. Colombia, Nesta Tours. Okay, in my back, you can see over there in my back, 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 there's the old city of Cartagena de Indias. And this is all the new development of Boca Grande that it was made in the 1920s, since the 1930s, further on. So this is Boca Grande and it is just by the side of the beach. This is people having fun in the beach, you know how it is.
Okay, I'm gonna show you. She's having a delicious treat. It's called raspado. Hola, como estas? Do you like raspado? That, how do you call that? That is called ice cone. Como lo llamas? Cholao. Oh, they they come from another part of Colombia and they call them cholao, which so is like and a snow cone made with uh, flavors, with local flavors. Look at this. That is not just in Cali. Oh yeah, you cholao. say you call cholao in Cali, yes? In Cali, yes. Okay, in Cali they call it cholao. In Cali they call many different names for things. Oh. Like they, when you when you ask for a for a lulo in cha, in Cali you say lulada uh, and not lulo. And in Panama, pan de bono. And in Panama, and pan de bono. You like That's gonna cool. like pan de bono. <laughs> so you you having fun here in Cartagena? You what? like Cartagena? Yes, I love. Okay. Cartagena. This is your first time in Cartagena or you come many times? Uh, when I was a child, but I don't remember a little bit things. Are you having fun right now? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Have you been to the old city? Yes. You like it? Yes. Oh. Okay, that's great. Welcome to Cartagena and greetings from Colombia. Raspao, Solao, Snow Cone. <laughs> Okay, remember I told you I was going to show you where Gabriel Garcia Marquez wrote the famous book Loving the Times of the Cholera? So I'm going to show you right away the building he did that book. He came over here to Cartagena and he had to write over here because Loving the Times of the Cholera, it's a love story that happens over here in the post-independence uh, Cartagena de Indias. And you see that building in my back? That is called La Máquina de Escribir. It's one of the most famous buildings of Cartagena. And there was where Gabriel García Márquez wrote his famous book, Loving the Times of the Cholera. That is a national heritage. That building over there in Cartagena de Indias, called La Máquina de Escribir, the typing machine. Okay, they are the massage girls over here at the Hollywood Beach. So your name? My name is Diana. I do rico massage, trenza, pedicure, and manicure. Okay, she is Diana. Diana, and she does massages. She's a masseuse, and she does a pedicure, manicure, Pen and also uh, the her. I don't trenzas. remember. Trenzas, yeah. Trenzas, massage, saca la orden. Okay, in Hollywood Beach, in Cartagena de Indias. Hey, this is the only way I would do a tattoo in my life. That tattoo would go away easily. Ese es un tatuaje que se va, ¿no es cierto? Okay. Y, y, y a ti si te gustan los tatuajes, you like tattoos? <laughs> no. no, but esto. O sea, pues. Tiene miedo. Tengo miedo. Tiene miedo de que no le quede bien. Okay, she's scared not to be uh, that, not to have a nice tattoo. Huh? So she does a temporary yeah. tattoo on her beautiful. <laughs> Uh, skin. There she has it, and there's the master of the tattoo. ¿De dónde vienen? From Mocoa, Putumayo. That is in the south of the country, very near to the frontier with the border with Ecuador. That is a very nice land. Es bien bonito por allá, ¿no? El Putumayo, ¿no? So they have very nice uh, mix between Amazon jungle and Andean. So it is a mix, a unique mix that you can only find in Mocoa and Putumayo. A department of Colombia. So make sure you go for, to there, to Mocoa and Putumayo. Okay, guys, here in my back you can see the opening of Boca Grande. You know, the Bay of Cartagena has two openings. One is Boca Grande and the other one is Boca Chica. This is the opening of Boca Grande and this is the entrance to the Bay of Cartagena. So you say there is open sea. In front, you see the island of Tierra Bomba. You see, and that island separates the bay. And at the other side, you can see Boca Chica, a small mouth, which is the navigational channel. Under this vast opening over here, Boca Grande, there's in the, in the, into the sea, there is a wall called La Escollera. And there's a escollera that comes from that point to that other point and it closes the bay totally. So no ships can come over here. That, you cannot see it, but it is a wall under the sea.
They made it to protect the city against invaders, against pirates. In the 16th century. 17th century and 18th century. All made to protect the richness that were over here at the ports of Cartagena de India. Now, one of the most incredible touristic cities of the whole world here in the Colombian Caribbean. And this is Colombia Nesta Tours. Okay, this place is called El Laguito. And many of these buildings you see over here, you see all those buildings? Okay, big chunk of these buildings that you can see here are Airbnb rentals or vacation rentals, okay? So you can come over here to Laguito. That car has a lot of sound, huh? You come over here to Laguito and you can find a nice apartment at a very good price. And uh, also, how are you doing? hey, how are you, man? How's it going? How's your orange juice? It's from Riquissima, good place. Please. Good place, where? Yeah, right there. Okay, and yeah. what are you having? Orange, OJ, and what? An empanada? Empanada. OJ and you empanada, what? man. Woo! That's good. Hey, thank, thank you. you, man. Okay, they sent me back from here. Oh, yeah, look, there they have. Look at this. And the famous, the champion, the world leader, the best of all, the famous Arepa on the huevo. Hey, greetings from Colombia. You know what? I'm going to ask you for a little favor. I need to go and drink a cup of coffee so I keep on having the good energy to show you all this beautiful scenery from Cartagena de Indias in Colombia. So you can buy me a coffee. Check out the web address over here. You buy me a coffee, Colombia Nestor. And uh, you can help me out in doing more and more videos for this, your channel, Colombia Nestor Tours. So give me a hand, give me your support. I'm waiting for you. I'm counting on you guys. Greetings from Colombia. Colombia Nesta Tours. Buy me a coffee, please. Maybe in this zone you can find uh, like uh, places like this, Immobiliarias. And uh, here is where you can get the apartments for rent. The vacation apartments for rent. So uh, let me see. Let me check how, uh, what apartments do they have. And uh, maybe if there is a good rental around here. Okay? Okay, ¿cuál es el precio de apartamentos acá en Cartagena? En temporada baja son 130 mil pesos. Okay, in low season 130,000 pesos for a one bedroom apartment. ¿Y en temporada alta en el high season? En temporada alta 200 mil pesos. 200,000 pesos in high season. So the prices are very manageable for you. The most is 200,000 pesos that it will be around uh, $60. So, so. So it is a very good price. So what are you waiting? Come over here, Colombia Nesto Tours. Book me for a tour. I will be waiting for you. Okay, in this sector of El Laguito, you can find houses like that one in the back. That is the way all houses look like in those times, in the 60s, around that. Then in the 1970s, well, all the buildings are starting to rise up over here in Cartagena. And over here at this special place of El Laguito, that is a beautiful house also over here. Let me check. We keep on going, keep on walking by Cartagena de Indias, by the sector of El Laguito. A very touristical zone of the city. It's a good restaurant. You know, it smells good.
At the end of El Laguito, there's a Hilton Hotel. Sometimes when US presidents have come over here to Cartagena, they have stayed at that hotel, the Hilton Hotel. Here in the sector of El Laguito, in Cartagena de Indias, Colombia. This is Colombia, Nestor Tours. Hey, this is all for today. My name is Nestor Melendez. I am a certified tour guide here in the city of Cartagena de Indias in Colombia. I am also a journalist and a content creator. I hope you like my show. Please subscribe to my channel to enjoy more shows from Colombia Nestor Tours and from Cartagena de Indias. See you next time. Bye. Gracias.